Every time I look into the documentation of Newsboat, there's always just some really cool new feature that I come across. And today we're going to be talking about Query Feed. Now a Query Feed, I guess you'd describe it as a meta feed of a bunch of other feeds. Now, it's not as simple as, ah, oh, here's a Reddit feed, here's another Reddit feed, I'm going to stick them together in one big meta feed. You can do that, but that would be boring. What a query feed will let you do is actually filter out based on the content of the feeds, based on the content of the articles, and basically just make a meta feed that fits exactly what you want to see. And the way it's done is through Newsboat's really powerful filter language. Now before we get into how it works, let's just look at a few examples. I've got a bunch of different feeds in my Newsboat right now, so I've got the newest submissions from Arch Linux, newest submissions from Linux, newest submissions from BSPWM, so on and so forth, and also the Hacker News feed. Now all of these ones right here, these are just regular RSS feeds. The two query feeds are these two up here, and just glancing at them, you probably won't even be able to tell they are query feeds. But here's what they are. So the first one here is kind of the example that I said was a bit boring. Basically what the Linux Reddit feed is going to do is take all of this stuff and just dump it into one big feed. Now there is a way I can improve this because there's a lot of articles in this sub in particular that I don't really care about. So we'll improve this in just a bit. But basically what this is, is just a big collection of feeds. The reason I use this is because otherwise the way I would have to read this is go in here, read through what's in here, go out of here, go in here, go out of here. Basically it'll just remove the step of having to open and close different feeds. I can just go in here and say, okay, well, what's interesting in here and every single article is in here. It's not a massive improvement on my workflow, but it does remove some extra key presses that I just don't need to do. And we've also got the unread feed, which is kind of the classical example of working with query feeds within Newsboat. Basically what this is, is it's going to be a collection of every single article from all of your other feeds that you currently haven't read yet. So if we just go in here, and let's just pick a random article to read, like this one from Hacker News, say. And okay, well, now that we've opened this up, it's now been considered as read. As you can see, 680 unread out of 681. Cool. If we just go out of here, it still says the same thing. But if we now leave Newsboat and come back into it, as you'll see, the number of total articles has dropped. And this number won't change. Okay, as you can see, it changed now because we loaded in a new article. But it won't change until a new article has actually been loaded in that we haven't read yet. Let's have a bit of a look at how this works. So if we just go over to my other screen, as you'll see, how it's defined is actually fairly simple. It's these first two lines right here. So everything for a query feed definition has to be inside of the quote marks. Now, I'm not sure why it has to be in the quote marks. That's kind of just the way that it's set up, though. This part right here is a little bit of extra stuff that we can add. That's not directly related to the query feed. I'll talk about those in just a moment, though. So to define a query feed, basically the way it works is inside of quote marks, you'll write query and then a colon. So basically that's saying this is going to be a query feed. Now after that colon, you put in the name of the feed. So in this case, it's Linux Reddit. In the other one, it's unread. Now after the next colon, that's where you actually put in your filter language. Now it's actually pretty simple how both of these feeds are defined. So the first one is basically saying, take everything that's in this list of tags. Now a tag is something you may not have come across in Newsboat. Basically what it is, is it exists in place of folders that other RSS feed readers would have. So in say, I don't know, the one built into Firefox, for example, you could say, well, all of these feeds right here, these will be in the Reddit folder. The way Newsboat does it though is basically you can say all of these are in the Reddit tag. So you can have multiple tags here. You can say this is in the Reddit tag and also the Linux tag and also the tech tag, for example, just like you would have a tree of folders. But this is kind of a bit more flexible than that. Tags don't just exist for use with the filter language. Their main use is for filtering by tag, like you would filter by folder. So if we just go back over to the Newsboat and press T, as you'll see, I've got a list of all of the tags I have defined now. So let's say we brought up I don't know, the meta tag. As you'll see, I've just got the Linux Reddit feed in here because I actually forgot to tag the unread feed. But if we go over to the, I don't know, say the Reddit feed, as you'll see, I've got just the Reddit feeds now. So tags basically let you filter out things you don't care about right now and just look at the feeds that you want to see at this moment. So if we just add a new tag to this, let's just add meta to it and save this, go back over here, quit out of Newsboat now bring it back open, and if we look at the meta tag, as you'll see, now we have both of those meta feeds in here. That was kind of an aside to the main points, let's go back over to that. 
Now, as you'll see, for the unread feed, the way that the filter is defined for this one is unread equals and then yes. So basically what it's saying is, does the unread value equal the value yes? Now the filter language is far more powerful and far more complicated than just this. So let's have a look at the documentation. Now, as you'll see, this right here, basically if you've done any sort of programming in the past before, this should be super familiar to you. Now the operators might be a little bit different, but this is basically just using comparison operators. Let's go through these examples. This first one right here, inside the brackets, so basically this will be worked on first, unread count greater than zero and unread count less than 10. Basically what that's gonna do is check if the unread count is between those two values or the total count is greater than 100. So if the feed has more than 100 articles in it. How about this second example here? So author equals tilde. Well, what does equals tilde mean? Equals tilde basically will test whether a regular expression matches. So read this as author contains Frank or author contains John. Now, or in this case is a logical or not the English or. So if you don't know what that means, basically this can be true and this can be true or, so English or in this case, this can be true, English or, this can be true. So both can be true or just one of them can be true. And also, title contains Linux or title contains FreeBSD. So basically this is gonna take every single article that is authored by Frank or John and the title contains Linux or FreeBSD. With just this here, you can already start to see how insanely powerful this is. And this is only a fraction of what's available. So we've also got things like testing for equality. We can also test for inequality. We've got contains, we've got doesn't contain, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, between. So if a value is between two ranges, then we've got the tag list that I was using before, and then not in the tag list. Now there's also a bunch of attributes you can test on as well. So you can test on the title, the link, the author, the content, the date, the GUID, unread, enclosure URL. I'm not gonna read through everything in here. You can already see how much stuff there is. You can test on the feed title, the description, the feed link, the RSS URL, the unread count, the tags which I was using before, and also the feed index. So feel free to come have a read of what all of these individual things mean. They're all pretty straightforward by the look of it. You might not be sure about things like the GUID, which is a unique identifier for articles, or maybe you're not sure about what the flag means, but all of these are pretty well described in here. So I would recommend having a good look at this and looking at what you actually want to filter out and saying, okay, how would I actually go about doing this? I'm gonna go through a bit of an example now though. Okay, so you might be wondering why I have a bunch of Reddit feeds in my news boat. Basically the reason I do this is so I can keep track of all the pieces of software that are coming out and all of the Linux news that's coming out, and if there's anything that catches my eye, then I probably will make a video on it. But there's one subreddit in particular which most of what comes from it is a waste of time, and that is this one right here. So as you can see, if we just open up basically anything in here, pretty much all that comes up is, here's a screenshot of my desktop, let's pick another one. I'm gonna guarantee it's a screenshot of this person's desktop. Oh. Okay, well that one's removed. That was unexpected. Let's try a different one. Or like this one right here. So this will be a screenshot of my desktop. So pretty much everything that comes from this subreddit is a waste of my time. Now you might like it, but for me, I don't really find any value in reading it. What I do find value in is these ones right here. So anything that is labeled as OC. Generally what OC is gonna be is some sort of piece of software or some sort of little tweak that I might wanna make a video on. So if we just look at this one, I haven't read this, I don't know if it's any good, but this one right here, added BSPWM in V2 as an alternate session for a complete set of dot files. So this is just someone's dot files. I don't really care about this, but at least it's a bit more valuable than here's a screenshot of my desktop. I've actually found some really cool programs on here. This is actually where I found my lock screen. So occasionally there will be something good on this subreddit. So what I wanna do is basically only keep the things that are labeled as OC. So how would we go about doing that? This right here was a lesson in why you should better prepare your videos before you start recording. As you notice, it's been about half an hour since the last clip. Now what I've done is I've changed the tag from being Reddit to being content. So basically everything that 
is reasonable content most of the time. I've now switched over from being the Reddit tag in this meta feed to being the content tag. So that's all well and good, but what about the stuff from the subreddit that is mainly garbage, but sometimes has something good. So for this one, this was really finicky. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing an or statement, and then I'm checking on the title containing square bracket OC square bracket. Now, the reason why I'm including the square brackets is because the regular expression in Newsboat isn't case sensitive. So if I just did OC, basically every single thing that has the letters OC, regardless of their capitalization, will actually show up. Now I don't want that, I just want these specific ones with OC in square brackets. So to do that, square brackets are actually a special character in regular expressions, so you have to escape those. Also though, we have to escape the backslash because the backslash is also escaping characters within the newsboat filter language. So we have to basically do a double backslash. I didn't realize this for so long and I was stuck on this and the solution was absolutely basic. But just keep in mind, if you want to escape any characters in a regular expression in the newsboat filter language, you have to use a double backslash. After all of that work, let's see what the change actually did. Now the change is very, very subtle. So if we look at the Linux Reddit feed and search for OC in square brackets, as you'll see, it actually brings up those feeds now. But if we try something else, like let's say we do the same for i3, or we do the same for DWM, as you'll see, none of those are showing up anymore. So if we go back over to the main feed, as you'll see, we have some i3 stuff in here, we have some DWM stuff in here. So now it is successfully filtering that stuff out. As you saw from earlier in the video, this is still just a super basic example. You can make something really complex, you can do something as complex as this, or you can just go absolutely insane with it and make some really convoluted way to filter stuff out so you just see exactly what you want to see in your query feed. But I think I'll save that for you guys to do and maybe in the comments section down below, let me know what you're using query feeds for and maybe there's some really cool use case that I haven't thought of just yet. So I think that's pretty much everything for me, but before I go, I want to thank my patrons. So a special thank you to Joachim, Nathan, Andrew, Gabriel, Peter D, Road, Tony Donald, Oki, Larry, and Zilva. If you want to join the Patreon, there'll be a link to that down below, as well as my Amazon affiliate links where you can buy the gear I use in this channel, or anything else you want to get a small kickback for it. Also remember to go check out my podcast, that is Tech Over Tea, available on Library and YouTube, and also this channel available on Library and BitTube as well. Also remember to smash the like button and leave me a comment down below. And remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below as well. So I think that's pretty much everything for me and I'm out.